but yeah, we use it to deliver our on-premise Terraform experience, Terraform Enterprise experience. And we had our own installer before. And we had three people, <laughs> three full-time people working on the installer. We had it deployed in AWS. And we had a lot of, because of our heterogeneous nature of the company, we had customers that wanted Oracle. We had customers that wanted Azure. We had all this other requirements. We had customers that wanted specifically to run it on Kubernetes. Um, there was all this stuff. And so we're like, OK, we'll build it. We started planning out. You know, the, the, the arrogance I think we had was that you know, we built Terraform, we built Packer, we built all these tools that like theoretically you just glue together and you get a non-prem installer, theoretically. <laughs> Turns out there's like a lot more to it, especially when you get to stuff like upgrades and things like that. Um, and it, the, the, the requirements were endless. And so that, I think we took a step back when it became, the, it's almost embarrassing the level of pain it took before we stepped back from that hubris or whatever it is to be like, we need to buy this because it, it came to the point where it was like, not existential, the company wouldn't have like ceased to exist, but we, were, we would be leaving a ton of money on the table if we didn't deliver Azure Oracle, well, uh, yeah, Azure Oracle, Kubernetes, like all in six weeks. Yeah. If we didn't deliver all of it, then, and, and we, we had a plan that was like two months per platform, optimistically, so it was like six months or six weeks if we can negotiate this deal and get it going. And I think one of our engineers showed a POC of replicated working like that. Yeah. And it's like two days to get it working. And I was, yeah, that was all it took. It's like, okay, yeah, we're out of this game. And now it's nice because we use replicated.